right? <laughs> That's right. That's my guy. <sighs> you need a brain refresher <laughs> on what to say? No. <laughs> Look, this is part of my process, okay? Okay. So okay. if you just give me a minute. Okay, okay. All right. Let me breathe. Let me prep. Right. Let him take him. Let, let Welcome him take back, everyone, <laughs> to another episode of the GigaHub <laughs> Weekly Show, where we talk about things that matter to us but may not nice. matter to you. I am host one of three, Luis Del Torre. I am host two of three, I guide you, Tony. And I am host three of three, Adam Cran. But first, I'd like to talk about briefly our cosmic, our, yeah, our sponsor, Cosmic Comics. The Jewel of the Mojave Desert. You can find Cosmic Comics at CosmicComicsLV.com or CosmicComics.Vegas. We do ship now if you're not in Las Vegas. Check it out. Nice. Check it out. So what are we doing tonight? Well, I was thinking we could just kind of like want to watch a movie, oh. kick back. Right. You know, maybe have a couple beers. Well, first of all, Happy oh, New we, Year. We got to do a show. Oh, right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. yeah. Happy New Year, everybody. Oh, no. The year's over? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Jesus. Right. Jesus. Okay. We're two days. Well, All three. Right, when this airs, three days in. I here think. we go. Yeah. I got to get a gym membership for six weeks and then <laughs> <laughs> leave it and then in six yeah. months cancel it. Yeah. When, uh, I, when anyway. I was a regular gym rat, I used yeah. to. That's when I took the time off because. P- yeah, new people. It, yeah, yeah, like. Till the middle of February, it was always packed, <laughs> and then it would start oh, yeah, dropping off. Because people, yeah, yeah they that would, is a real New Year's thing, resolution. Yeah, yeah. when I, I, when I used to go weeks. regularly yeah, I, I, in the nineties, early two thousand, I thought that yeah. was just like a meme or something, but no, no, it's, no it's, that's it's a, a real no. thing. It's a real thing. Okay, <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyway, uh, happy twenty twenty two, everybody. Right. We're yes. so happy to see you guys for a brand new year with brand new content and hopefully brand new things we can talk about. Mostly right. brand new movies we can rag on because they're bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm looking really looking forward to that. I'm a glutton for punishment. But right, right. <laughs> uh, let's talk about one of our uh, videos that we did about this about the same time this year, about the same time last year. What? What? Right. The uh, the uh, 2020 uh, recap that. We oh did. yeah, right, yeah. right. Yeah. Oh, um, holy! Where we talked about a few things. We talked about a few of the issues that were going on in 2020, mostly because there was right. a global pandemic and right, it was yeah. affecting a lot of the things that uh, we loved, that we yes. loved, or that we considered that was normal up until now. <laughs> right. yeah. uh, I'm here to tell you guys that now that it's 2022, we don't have to worry about any of that stuff. It's <laughs> all it's all in the past. For the most part. We're, we're completely out of it, and we're a better country for it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so right. here we go, guys. Anyway, we'll see you guys next week. <laughs> all right. Um, What's ironic about that is this very format we sort of have adopted was because direct the result of not being too close to each other. Yeah, and yeah. which I think works better, honestly, for the equipment we have. Right. Yes. And so. even well, with vaccinations and boosters, I yeah. still don't want to sit next to either of you. Yeah. Um. As the- <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you, you, want, you want me to spin on you like in Dune and like you know? Yeah. Give me the gift of your moisture. <laughs> <laughs> I would, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if watching. I wouldn't be surprised if moist. Ugh. I wouldn't be surprised if someone watching Javier Bardum Hakalugi did something for him. Uh. This is a part of the internet. Ooh. Ooh. The gift of his moisture. Uh. <laughs> no, thank All you. right. So. All right. So one of the things that we talked about right. was. Um, Movies. Well, yeah, last week we talked about what we're looking forward to, so this week... We're going to yeah. recap 2021, 2021 as compared to our <laughs> review of 2020 video, I guess, and right. maybe hopefully even review you know, 2021 a little bit. I didn't bit. think of that. I didn't. I should have watched that video again. I didn't watch it. Oh, I watched it three times Did you? because there's this very handsome guy that's in it, mm-hmm. and I really like him very much. Cool. Yeah. He's a, he seems like a cool dude that I want to have a beer with. Well, da- thank you. Daikaiju Tony? I was yeah. going to say Daikaiju Tony. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you guys play your cards right? Maybe Daikaiju Tony can have a beer with you. Yeah. Only, um, Daikaiju Tony OnlyFans. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. A Daikaiju OnlyFans. That's a good idea. Right. So what we t- one of the things that we talked about was uh, the movie industry, right? Yeah. The movie industry, yes. see, which is an industry that we all, we the three of us at least, love very much. Yeah. Yes. Despite, <laughs> despite, despite, the, despite the reviews of the movies that we've watched. Uh, yes. Um, 
But we had uh, <laughs> one of the big things being affected, of course, at the time was movie theaters yes. and people going to movie theaters and how streaming sort of became the norm for brand new movies, whether yes. it be paying extra on Disney Plus for a movie or, or simply waiting for something to come out on, on HBO, HBO Max, Max yeah. Yeah. or Netflix but, or what have you. But with the releases of some movies uh, this year, um, people would go to the movies and th I know. If, if the movie was treated like a religious event. <laughs> yeah. I know Spider-Man had a huge opening. Huge opening. Yes. Yeah. Big, uh, big time opening. Dude, <laughs> Dune was pretty big too, even in theaters. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Even I know if... Dune died pretty fast. It did. Yeah, it did. I, I was but surprised. Like, uh, yeah, but, like, surprised. but that week that it was out, it was out. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it was like... Kong did pretty well in the box office. So, was that... Oh, that was that last was last year. It was yeah. last year, yeah. yeah. It was one of the movies. Wow. It was one of the great movies we were in. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, so, you know, there was, of course, the fear Did that... Did we watch it in theaters? We, no, we watched it at, at HBO Max. He, uh, it Tony theaters. watched it in theaters. And I felt paralyzed by, like, the last part of the movie. Oh, we saw like, Dune in theaters. Oh, we saw Dune in theaters because oh, we were VIPs, we were question yeah, mark. We were. But uh, one of the things that, that was uh, in question, of course, was uh, movie theaters right. uh, mm -hmm. in 2020. Will they bounce back? Yes. Will they bounce back? Uh, and I think 2021 proved that they indeed they can bounce back. Can yeah. bounce back. <laughs> Depends think, on the movie. I think it's the same. Yeah, but I think it's like I said last year. I think um, as nice as it is to have things stream into your home, there is still that need and want of going out yeah. to see yeah. a movie. Like the event of just sitting in a, in a in front of a large screen with you know top of the state or top yeah. of the state. <laughs> You know what I mean. State, State of the, the art, art sound right. yes. is uh, is still something t that people want to do. It's still something that I like to do, despite my penchant for not wanting to go out for any <laughs> yes. other reason. Disliking people. Yeah. Yeah. I just, just people are and gross, gross and, and terrible. Getting drunk inside the theater and uh, walking yeah, you out. You drink all, inside theaters. You know, man. Uh, uh, That's true, yeah. yeah. In certain theaters. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I was pretty drunk during the, my first viewing of Fury Road. Well, you were drunk? <laughs> I was pretty drunk, yeah. Oh, no wonder you love that movie. That movie's bad. Did you know that? <laughs> what? No, I didn't. <laughs> no, <laughs> Get I'm out kidding. of here. I'm kidding. That I'm kidding. awesome. I, I did go back and see it again, though. Just to Sober? Validate, yeah, validate my feelings towards it. Because <laughs> I was like, that movie was amazing, but I was also drunk, so I should watch it again. It's still amazing. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. Anyway, yeah, theaters had a kind of an interesting year. Um, there was the whole that the, the whole idea that they were going to die out. There was yeah. a lot of movie theater. There was a lot of companies that were trying new things and of course also putting blame on movie studios it was this whole hullabaloo right. um uh -huh. and then of course the whole stock thing or stonks as people the stonks the stonk, stonks the stonk market yes that's what people call it on the yes. internet yes um, like, yeah. so basically the happened. whole stock market thing where uh yeah. the uh, a whole what is it all a whole uh, bunch of people who play the the market uh brought up the 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 uh, stock for GameStop, yes, there oh, for a yeah. while, That's and they right. did the same thing for uh, AMC? AMC theaters. That's right. Uh, mm -hmm. So movie theaters have had quite a year. Yep. Yeah. Um, and AMC. of course, and then of course, you're just average release of like big budget movies, like your Spider Mans, like your Dunes, um, and all that kind of stuff. It, Eternals happened. Eternals was a thing that happened. Mm -hmm. I did not watch it. I, I haven't did. seen it, but I hear like people my age seem to have liked it. It's booty sauce. Which, which, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. That if means it, that means you're gonna like it. Uh, okay. no. If Tony hates it, that means you're gonna like uh, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I, I've been yeah. surprised that guys my age that come into the store uh -huh. tend, to, tend to like it, and I'm just like, wow, these are. I mean, maybe it's good. I don't good. know. It didn't really get my attention, yeah. but I'm, I'll, I'll watch it. Yeah, I'll watch it eventually. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a look at it at some point. I mean, I still haven't seen Spider-Man because I don't. You, you, wow. you should. It, That's yeah. what everybody keeps saying. I know. You should care. <laughs> it's a Spider-Man is the religious event of the year. I tried so. to care about Doom. Really. Well, that didn't work out yeah. so well for me. I, Matter of fact, I, I got know. beat up on our comment section. Well, I, I know. I, I, I was <laughs> there, <laughs> and I, I was there in the theater. I saw your reactions, and I think you saw my reactions when I was laughing. We had a lot of the same reactions. I was pretty surprised. I yeah. was, like how I was laughing my ass off when uh, <laughs> Jason Momoa was going. <laughs> yeah, I could hear you seething. That's the funny <laughs> thing. That's the one thing you know. You you can tell when someone's seething. You can't hear, it, but with Adam, you can hear him. You can hear him just seething in his death. In, in his in his seat. I was one person away from him. 
Um, and I could I could hear you. I could hear you the whole. And then and Wendy was just laughing. At us. It was so funny. It was fantastic. No, listen. That's part of the, that's part of why I like going to the that's movies with you. Because if it's bad and I'm not enjoying it, I'm gonna enjoy you seething about it. Yeah. So you want to talk about like each movie and the order of release they came out in, or oh, like what? <laughs> is that what we're doing? <laughs> well, I, I didn't. I no, you can't listen. I, if you can, if you can do it, because I didn't do that. Oh. Okay. But if you can do it, well, then go for it. Oh, okay. Well, I, I, I don't know if we want the show to be quite that long, but uh, okay. Oh, never mind. Never um, mind. How about we just talk about some big ones then? Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't I, want all your work to go to waste. Yeah, because this is supposed to be the recap of 2021. It's kind of a recap. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a recap. It's not yeah. just movies, though. It's oh, okay. like all pop well, culture, too. Well, what pop culture things happened related well, to gaming happened? Let's, uh, gaming. What 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 was new in gaming this last year? Um, well, nothing for me. <laughs> Spider-Man. Think, Spider-Man. The Miles Morales uh, one, right? Yeah, Spider-Man. Well, that and the upgrade on the PS5 where you could get the Andrew Garfield costume and uh, a couple other suits I didn't really care about. Right. The failure of Cyberpunk 2077? Yes. That, that was the start of the year before, though, I think. Yeah. Oh, was yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, shoot. I yeah, remember. Honestly, yeah. I wish well, I got money my own in that feelings shit. about that game, but <laughs> it wasn't that bad. I don't know what. Well, good luck getting a PS5 because this yeah. whole trade ship thing has yeah. really put a damper yeah, on anyone not, trying not, to get a PS5. Not, not even, and not, Hot Wheels, apparently. Uh, really? Yeah. 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 Not even yeah. hackers who found a way to jailbreak it and do the PS4 could get their hands on PS5 apparently. Jeez. <laughs> I I don't want to I don't want to say out loud who it is, but someone at work was attempting to get a PS5 for their son. Yeah. And we're going to pay someone $1000 for a PS5. Which is exactly why this is going on. Yeah. Yes. But because people are willing to do that. It's but like, l- it's the cabbage patch thing all over again. Yeah, but luckily there was a, a major retailer had contacted uh, a lot of its um what is the word? I don't want to say Prime because it's not Amazon, and Amazon's the only company that uses Prime. But basically, one of like one of the big retailers has a, a, a like a rewards program. like a rewards like a specialized like a membership program mm-hmm. uh, that he was a part of, and they basically emailed him and were like, "Hey, we found some PS fives. You want to buy one?" And oh. he was able to get one for a regular price. But uh, yeah, this whole the whole trade embargo thing has. Um, not Merch. allowed us to get our PS5. Yeah. Not that I'm going to get one because they're crazy expensive. You'll lose sleep if you try getting one because I st- I have I have to stay up till like five in the morning for a whole month just just to yeah, get the slim you chance. To, yeah, you and have to catch it when they stock it and then immediately yeah. purchase it. Oh shoot! And then I was like, Dad, yeah. Dad, I got it, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. I'll do the same thing. I'll do that to my dad. I'll just um, go. I'll go to his house and wake him up. So. So with video games, other than the PS5, which is very limited, mm. anything well, significant? Well, that's a lot. That's a lot of. Did it was a lot of things. Happen? I, I mean, mean, Halo Infinite is supposed to be great. But uh, I, I haven't played it. I have I friends played who it played either. it. They enjoy it a lot, yeah. and it's supposed to be a return to form. Yep. I guess. And like people are are trashing in it just because there's no battle royale mode yeah. and there's no dance emotes and like there never was there, it doesn't need those <laughs> doesn't what's need a battle those royale things. mode is that slayer it, no it's usually <laughs> like a, it's usually like did you a, laugh at me because i'm <laughs> completely out of date like slayer what is this <laughs> halo 2 you old no it's usually like a, a battle royale mode is usually like a much 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 larger map with it could be anywhere from like 32 to 32 or even 64 against 64. Yeah, mm-hmm. if you ever... Or it could be small teams, but it's like 64 yeah. total players, that kind of thing. If you ever seen the movie Battle Royale, that's Pu- kind of the gist of PUBG it. PUBG started mm. it. Fortnite made it super ridiculously popular. But then now, Call now of Duty... There's a, there's a bunch of them out there now. Call oh, of okay. Duty made it more intense. Yeah, <laughs> PUBG wasn't the first one. Public, public, or what was it? Public Battlegrounds? Is, Is that right? what PUBG Original stands title? for? I think, yeah, yeah. Um... That wasn't the first one to do it. It was the first one to do it successfully. Yes. I think, what was the first game that tried it? It was like the Max or Max or something? or And it never really worked. Never took off. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, shout out to Dillo Fellow and Spacey, who plays a crap ton of Halo Infinite. So, nice. yeah. I can't think of any other games of real significance that have had like a huge impact. A bunch of game announcements got a bunch of huge... Well, yeah, that huge? but that's just announcements. Yeah. It's not... I mean, I, know. I mean, you're asking the wrong person. Yeah, I yeah. I just got I just got Breath of the Wild, and uh, that's how far back I am. I just got it. <laughs> Breath of the Wild at a Black Friday sale. <laughs> that game is what four or five years old now. Yeah. So that's where I'm at. Final Fantasy XIV and Walker. It's how the, did that come out? Yes, it's the best MMO game of the year mm. for a crap ton of reasons. And it's so good that it had to be pulled off the stores because there's just too many players. 
hogging off the area and like within the first few weeks trying to log in you a player you're in queue and there's you have to wait for 300 3500 players and you just leave your controller there wait for 5 hours and Jeez. hope that you don't get the error screen oh my <laughs> but gosh. Wow. but as someone who finished then walker ah oof so wow. good so good why don't you play a real mmo um, tony like world of warcraft <laughs> So no. the, the, right, how about, they re-released the old World of Warcraft. How about comics? Anything significant happened in comics that you can think of? Berserker, uh, well, I Berserker know. came out, right? Yeah, and that's going to get a Netflix show. Yeah, Berserker. Berserker. Oh, the uh, the, yeah, the Keanu Reeves, the Keanu Reeves comic. Just yeah. it's Berserker without vowels. It's what? <laughs> that's it's Berserker without vowels. That's what the title is. Yeah. Oh, okay. B r z r k r. Yeah. Berserker. Is it good? Berserker. I mean, in a Ooh, world where we have, right. in a world where we have three John Wicks, is is Berserker <laughs> really right. something that we need? Or it's all right. Not really. No. Yeah, I don't. Know. Hmm. What about uh, one of the things that we talked Unfortunately, about? Unfortunately, John Leguizamo also. I'm sorry. No, no, you're good. You're good. John Leguizamo came out with a comic book as well that Phenon X did not do well. I like John Leguizamo. I love I John Leguizamo. Yeah, and it was. And but, the, but honestly, to be honest, to be fair, the comic book isn't. Dennis Hopper I wasn't mean, it, the bad guy. It feels. It feels like. It feels like. Yeah. A, it feels like a local. Like a local yeah, comic the, book oh that boy. somebody the, wrote. Yeah, that's it, the good. printing was the printing image in the yeah. book. It looked it was so ass. It was, it, it's like a low quality JPEG. It, it is like, sort of. What low am quality, I looking yeah. at? Image I think didn't put a lot of money. Didn't into Amelia it. Clark put out a comic book this year? She did, yes. and that book at least that it's 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 hard to say if that book's good. <laughs> I have every issue. It's. It's, oh, do you, it's you have every issue? Yeah, there's only it's, three issues. It's very layered. It's very complicated story, but it's wow. it's kind of good for mm. what it is. It's but it's just different. It's really different. I was just gonna wait on the trade to get them all because it's, I mean it's already on trade. So. The trade, yeah, the trade. Just oh, is came it out, really? I think. Oh, yeah. Wow. I think we might have it over there actually. Yeah. I mean, yeah. since we're speaking of comic books, yeah. I know there was the whole kerfuffle with DC and the distributor. Last year, yeah, right. Uh, um, which was uh, Diamond? Is it? Um, yeah, Lu- Lunar. They Lunar. They pulled out a Diamond. They went with Lunar. That actually happened the year before. And how um, have they been? Marvel doing? changed distributors this year. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. They, okay. Lu- yeah. Um, How's that affected a? The comic only thing books with all, Lunar. The only thing with Lunar, not Lunar. It should be DC. The only thing with DC that I find frustrating as a fan and you know part of the store. Is that um, there's just they 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 made some comment about how you want more Batman we're gonna give you more Batman they weren't joking <laughs> I want to say almost, yeah I think I've gone over to the DC part of the store half, half or more of the Every, DC yeah. section is a Batman or Batman related book yes and the problem with that is now Marvel kind of killed Deadpool a few years back by oversaturating Deadpool's right yes um, I mean that's just what they're I don't do. think they're gonna kill Batman the same way because Batman's been around a lot longer but they're certainly gonna cause his they're certainly gonna cause his popularity to I think recline. people are gonna need to take well, a break yeah, from Batman same, yeah. at insane. the same time there's gonna be that movie so yeah. there's a chance it might uh, I don't know I don't know there's mm. so many bat titles right now um as far as Marvel and that distribution um what can I say? I don't want to bore anybody. Um, it's been, Ultraman. it's been interesting. I mean, let, it's let, been interesting. Let's ask some key <laughs> questions. Has it okay. has it affected sales in any way, shape, or form? No. Has it affected releases? Um, yes, because early on, the the new distributor, which is Penguin Random House, suffered from shipping the books with a lot of damages. Yes. Um, now, to be fair. A comic book, <laughs> wow. That's my thoughts on them shipping. Wow. A comic book, you know, a comic book, everybody wants a perfect 10, especially nowadays, right? Yes. The collector mentality is in full swing. But a comic book, quite literally, it, when it comes off the press and gets stapled and folded, chances are it's no longer a perfect 10. Yes. Right? Like That's me, just a fact. At most, a 9.8. Because, because the way the prongs sort of pick the things, the, the very corners always tend to get a little yeah. Plus now the there's tops, holes right? in it. Yeah, and it's got staples, right? <laughs> um, but but with the Penguin books, I don't know what they're doing, but their corners are exceptionally bad. Yes. And and more often than not, it's happening during packing. It's not happening during shipping because we get the box, and it's in beautiful condition. And the interior, well, the box is in okay condition because it gets thrown around. But the interior box and the way they're protected is great. And it's surrounded with the bubble wrap, and the interior box is perfect. And the book, you pull out the books inside, and the corners are all banged up. And you're like that. Uh, that's not going to that, sell. That either happened when they packaged it, or it happened 
you know, before they packaged it. And it's like, how are they so rough on these? So that's been a challenge. You know what? Um, I'm not I'm not opposed to buying books that have, that have, have like yes. dented corners and stuff, especially because some of the ones that I bought here, because I know a lot of the ones that dented corners you guys put on discount. Um, Sometimes, yeah. Right. So, like, I don't mind buying those. They're usually yeah. not that bad, Yeah. honestly. Like, it might be like a little yeah. bit of crinkle well, here Well, I'm talking there, regular but... comic books, too. That's yeah. the problem. Right. Oh, um, yeah. Oh yeah, and how? how um, Who still buys freaking... singles? Is anyone out there still buying singles? Yeah, and... but yes. you know. The, also, the, but why? The truth is, speculators are a huge part of the market. Yes, right. people buy comic right. books to collect and hopefully have Hope. value someday. But, oh, they're looking for that next Walking Dead right. number one. So, right. and a part of uh, Penguin that baffles me is like you're here. It would be a big light box, and so, <laughs> yeah. tons of packing material. Another box inside of it for one, one graphic novel. Graphic novel, yeah. They're, what? Their their packaging sometimes is baffling the way they do it. Like you'll get a box that's just one or two comics sometimes. Yes. And it's a big box and it's ridiculously well protected, but then sometimes you'll get this weird sort of pressed <laughs> this thing, this graphic novel shipped uh-huh. or a comic book shipped and it's pressed in this weird envelope that's meant to protect it, but the thing gets just tossed around and banged up and it's like and even the act of opening it Sorry, could why, potentially damage you're, you're damaging it. Why yeah, does one graphic novel warrant a rushing nesting know. doll box I packaging? Don't yeah. Know. That is that is That's weirdly exactly baffling. What it's like. Yeah. That's weirdly baffling. You, you got us. We don't know. Wow. <laughs> we, wow. Sometimes we wonder are, are they making money? I mean, how are they how are they doing that? And like yeah, it's weird. Penguin, like there's always a tiny little sheet. This box was shipped by or this box was packed by uh Stacy M or, or Phyllis Q or whatever. Oh, Phyllis Q. I love Phyllis yeah, Q. She's right. a great lady. But anyway, enough about that. That can't be terribly exciting. As far as comic book storylines I just wanted to know if maybe comic books were affected in any way, shape, or form because of it. I know when I've, DC had their whole thing last year yeah. that it was a, it was kind of like a big deal. It was a big deal, yeah. I think if nothing else during this whole pandemic thing, I think comic books have done well overall, mostly because a lot of entertainment, including movie theaters, were closed and people still need entertainment. Yes. So by virtue of the fact that we were able to open as long as we followed, you know, the guidelines of the state of Nevada, I mean, we seem to be okay. And that's been great. So Mm. can't can't complain about that. As far as any major events or storylines that are striking me. Um, Immortal Hulk ended. And Immortal Hulk did. Ryan Otley and Immortal Hulk was a wildly popular series if you hadn't checked it out. And Ryan Otley and Donna Cates are doing Hulk right now. And um, basically Hulk is a living mecha (laughs) Thing yeah. where Bruce Banner has to pilot him inside of his brain, and Bruce like yeah, puts him. It. <laughs> it, it's complicated. It's complicated. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, complicated. It's pretty cool. goofy. Uh, ben Riley is now the main Spider-Man right now. Uh, yeah. yeah, pretty cool costume. Stray uh, Dogs started and ended this year. Stray Dogs. Yes, that's right. Stray Dogs. Yeah. It was a really cool story that was drawn like a Disney. It did look like a yes. Disney, Disney yeah. car- comic Disney book, cartoon, but it was yeah. very adult. It yep. was about a serial killer who kept Wha- dogs. <laughs> yes, and he wanted to be a furry. <laughs> and he wanted to be a furry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was gotta, good, though. I, it was good. I, yeah. I can't think of anything major, I mean, that, uh, that really came out. I mean, listen, if you want to talk impact. politics, I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that... <laughs> no. Let's talk politics, guys. So here's what I'm going <laughs> to... No, I'm not going <laughs> to... Buy our vitamins. Yeah. <laughs> Caveman bone broth is guaranteed to uh, make your bones the, better and stronger. That's the wrong. No, that's the right one. You put the 15 one first, though. I know. Uh, and, now, and now we're at 20. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yes, so politics-wise, yeah, I mean, a lot went on. Um, well, we were talking politics? No, I'm just saying. That that, that, was, that seems to be like, especially the last two years, it seems to be like the big, yeah, well, we got a the big issue of the day was... Uh, yeah, we did get we did get a new president. Yeah, we did, we did get a new. Pre- I don't know how new he oh. is, but we got it. We got a new president. <laughs> we got uh, an old president. Yeah, no, we got an old new. We president. got a new president that's old. <laughs> Very old. Cool. Yeah, and, seems yeah. older than he actually is. Yeah, I have to is. remind myself that he's only like seventy four. <laughs> oh yeah, so young. Like, he's he's seventy four he years seems, young. He seems older. <laughs> um, but yeah, like besides that, like I don't know, like movies. We, I mean, we already, okay. We already went through movies. Well, we hadn't talked about movies specifically. Uh, so we, okay. We, we, which, which ones? So what came out this year that was impactful? Well, clearly Spider-Man was huge <sighs> for that Kaiju Tony. For some reason. Uh, uh, yeah. I say some reason because I wasn't keen on watching it, but, like, I don't know. Now I have to... I, I hate the fact that my curiosity gets peaked when people go, no, it was really good. Because, like, Eternals... Was pretty uh, Eternal, like, I wasn't going to, to see... 
you know, like I wasn't like too interested in seeing it. And then you don't hear anything about it. And it's like, oh, okay, well, you know, I think it's better when you hear either something good or bad about movies because then at least yeah. it piques your interest to see it. Like, I got to see why this is bad or I got to see what makes this better than I thought it would be as opposed to like, oh, there's no one saying anything about this. This kind of sucks then. Yeah. I think I always judge sort of my metric for how well a movie did. Mm -hmm. I don't look at box and office numbers anymore. I, I look at, as the year goes on, a couple factors. Are people still talking about it? And is there a lot of merchandise <laughs> about it? And that's kind of how I judge that. Oh. Um, um, what? Oh, if you want to talk oh. about movies that flopped, uh, Resident Evil, Welcome to Raccoon City. Did it flop? Yes. Yeah. Hard, that was in theaters, hardcore. Right? Right? Yes. Wow. Yeah. And it, 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 the movie that tried kickstarting a Resident Evil movie series with a post credit scene and all, it's, it just sizzles well, away. Let me ask you a question. I think when I saw the trailer, it was just, it didn't feel inspiring in any way like it just seemed like this looks like a it's Made looks like an fmv for a new game is what it looked like I mean, but yeah. not even to the quality that capcom would do <laughs> so tony you reviewed the movie in, yeah, a, in, a, one in, shot, in a one shot yes. uh, which you can go see uh, yes. on our channel but uh just a real quick rundown for people who haven't seen it, it was it good <sighs> no no okay is it half more of it, half of it's good like if you if you like you know the over the beginning of Resident Evil 2 and the beginning of the first game, then yeah, you're gonna like it. But like, oh after, my god, after if you, that now, if you like zombie movies in general, <laughs> like I can't. How many zombies were killed in this movie? Two or three? Really? That's like, it. Leon only kills one zombie in that whole movie. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That seems weird. Is it okay? Now here's my other question: How faithful would you say it is to to the Resident Evil story to the game? I, I mean. Guess? How faithful is Batman vs Superman is to the source material, and how faithful? And that's not a very. That is a loaded question because it has a lot of elements. Elements, yes. But it's not faithful but at all. It, it, it tries it combining. Completely misses the point. It, it tries yeah. combining so many stories at right. one time. And is that what you're saying? This was. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so what? What? So so here's my, I guess here's my question. What warrants? The, the early 2000s Resident Evil franchise to have eight movies or something like that. Because they're and at least... And then this movie sucks. They're at least absurdly entertaining. They are fun. Uh, yeah. They are fun. They're yeah. fun. They're bad. They're yeah. bad. Yeah. Well, the first one feels like it could be in the universe of the games. The first one's okay, yeah. And you could tell that Paul... Because Paul W. S. Anderson said that he played the first three games and he wanted to tell his own story, but at the same time, get the same tone of those games. Yeah. And, you and I think more or less they worked. Yeah. yeah. He did it. Mm -hmm. For the first movie, anyway. Yeah, for the first one. Yeah, not any of the others. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Uh, for you, for uh, the old people like me and you out there, uh, this year was the 35th anniversary of The Legend of Zelda. Right. And they celebrated it by releasing a Game & Watch. Uh, it's a little system, like this yeah. big, with uh, the first two Zelda games really? and I, Link's Awakening. I miss that completely. On it. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it just came out, uh, I think, for the holiday season, so... Uh, December was an anniversary for a crap ton of Godzilla movies. Yeah. That's 30th true. anniversary of Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. Yeah. It was an anniversary for Son of Godzilla, anniversary for Godzilla vs. Megagiras. Did they do anything for, for any of those? Or? Not really, no. No. Mm. Got anniversary for. SH um, Monster Arts announced a. Hedera. Hed Hedera. So okay. Yes, deluxe version that I'm already pre. Well. Uh, pre uh, Monster <laughs> Arts, I'm hoping that Godzilla Ultima comes in. Mm -hmm. Oh, your uh, Singular Point, which I still need to watch. Oh, yeah, Singular <laughs> Point. Uh, it was a good anime. It was a good anime. Yeah, that did come out last year, yeah. Well, uh, We Same. also had, uh, I mean, let's talk DC while we're talking comics book movies here. We had Suicide Squad that came out this, this year. That yeah, the second completely one. completely blew the good. first one yeah, out of the water. It it's probably my favorite I DC think, movie ever. Know, yeah. I think the most criticism I heard it get was basically, it's predictable. It's the same movie as this, blah, 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 blah. And it was, but it worked. Same movie as what, though? Like, the it made Guardians more sense. of the Galaxy. <laughs> oh, but really? I mean, yeah. in what sense? They but just it, threw a motley crew yeah, of people yeah, together, yeah. and it's like yeah. that. that's what but makes it, it like Guardians it, of the Galaxy. But it works. And it makes the, more these sense. These are people that want to tear it down. You know, I mean, especially if you've ever studied storytelling, right, you could literally just pick apart any film. Right. Yes. It's it's not the point. It's whether it works for you or not. And, yeah. And that movie and works. And it works more than yeah. the last Psycho movie where, oh, it's this ragtag band of bad people teaming up to save the world from this force that normally the Justice League would have to team up to destroy. <laughs> right. And it doesn't it didn't really make sense in this one, but in here they're fighting Starro, who's the first Justice League villain, and yeah. at the same but time. Also it they works. weren't there to fight Starro. That was the other thing. They just like we have to do something. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. And also Starro wasn't 
a conqueror in the movie. He was a space whale. Yeah, basically. True. Yeah, yeah, and he was also kind of a victim. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but they had so, to take they had to take him down. They had to kill him. Yeah. Yep. Plus, uh, you know, uh, what's his name? Kill shot? No. Um, no. De- de- kill death sport. Blood sport. Blood, blood sport. sport. Right. Blood sport. A.K. I gotta keep remembering that it's an old blood Van Damme sport, movie. AK. Who did Will Smith play? Blood, de- Deadshot. Will Smith Deadshot. Deadshot too. <laughs> I would argue much better than Deadshot. Oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. Will Smith was probably the wrong person to play Deadshot. Yeah, you know, he doesn't. Yeah, I don't know. Well, yeah. they try to I mean, look, he, look, the guy's annoying, but he's not Deadshot the bastard. So no, it and he, and he it wouldn't really al- work. And, he, and that's the point. He wouldn't allow himself to be that Deadshot character. the bastard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's got to be redeeming in some way. He's got to be, you know. Like, no. <laughs> Deadshot's a jerk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's a talented sack of crap. Jerk, yeah. Yeah, yeah, by the end of the Suicide Squad, they're still technically bad people. <laughs> yeah. With yeah. the exception of, like, maybe Ratcatcher and King Shark, because King Shark, he has the mind of a child. I mean, so you, I could, would, yeah. you could argue Harley Quinn's not really evil, yeah. just chaotic. I, I I know we talked about it during that review, but I still love her side story and how that played out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was amazing. Quick and simple. It was great, yeah. <laughs> My therapist talked to me about it. Like, <laughs> I mean, tell me that wasn't an act of good. She's not evil, just chaotic and misunderstood. <laughs> yes. But yeah, mostly that, chaotic. That was pretty good, yeah. As bad, I, mean, I remember Birds of Prey from a couple years ago. As bad as that was, it was as entertaining as It I was thought. entertaining, yeah. Yep. Or that was uh, last year, actually, because we saw it together. In a movie theater. With, with Jason right before the lockdown, I think, right? Uh, or no, we, we saw Sonic. We saw Sonic. The, we right. s- wow, we yeah. saw Sonic the Hedgehog before lockdown. Right before lockdown, yeah. Like and you know what? Sunday that movie, before lockdown. And you know what? That movie was better than it had any right to be. Yeah, yeah. it was. It was. It was, but that, more, was that was last year. Last yeah, year, yeah, yeah, or yeah. Two years ago. Trailer for Sonic 2 came out in the Game Awards this year, yeah. and Game Awards, I didn't really follow in it. Yeah, I was prepared. Ooh, goodness. I was prepared for them to give... Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, the movie, like an award of some kind, being that it was one of the few movies that actually came out in theaters at the time. <laughs> right. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? It's like, yeah, yeah. Well, well, what movie? The, what movies do we have to choose from? Uh, well, we have Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> yeah. I guess we could put that in best movie. All right. So twenty twenty one. Yeah, we yeah. are starting to run a little long. Um, in for the sake or for the world of pop culture is there anything else significant that you can think of from last year yep that we missed out on listen i feel like right now on the spot i there's nothing i can think of off the top of my head but i feel like if people watch the video they're gonna be like what about this that and the other like oh yeah that's right there was that thing yeah yeah. Well, tell us thing. in the comments um, yeah let us know in the comments yes, please and um, like and dislike the video if you want yeah yeah <laughs> help the algorithm even though we can't um, invincible vote. debuted on amazon yeah oh that's right, that's right. and we gave it glowing really remarks yeah really it was good, one of the yeah. few reviews we did that actually <laughs> get what, did it get four I stars i don't everybody? think we're that bad i think most of our reviews uh, are actually positive it just i think one of our big negative reviews was a huge movie that got a lot of views and that people trashed us in our comments yeah they about. were really mad that we didn't like some it. people were kind of mean but that's okay i don't mind I mean, yeah um yeah, so I don't know anything else we can think of. Uh, no, might have came out. I know The Witcher second season started on I Netflix a few couple it. weeks ago. Oh, did it already? I I didn't like the first season, even though I hear the second Why? season's so good. I because I think I thought it was entertaining. I mean, I didn't. I don't. I didn't have the source well, material. I read the it. books, and I think what they did is they. Tried I mean, to, I read the Elric books. That's they, kind of the same. No, not at all. No, no, they, it's better. They <laughs> they jammed so much of those books. Yeah. Instead of letting the story breathe, they just they just threw so much together that mm. the stories didn't get to stand on their own, and I think that was a shame because some of those stories were amazing. Yeah, in the original work, you know. Mm. Um, mm. What else? Mm. I don't know. I got I got nothing else. Okay. Uh, I know. Pop culture wise, yeah, I can't think of uh, anything. I know. Fa- there were oh, Hawkeye, but I haven't watched any of that I've yet. Seen I do want to. Did you like it? Yeah, I liked it. Uh, yeah. Final Fantasy VII Integrate on PS5. Basically, it's it has the DLC chapters and oh, okay. yeah, oh yeah, and Final Fantasy. Yeah, remake oh. came out this year, right? Oh, uh, no, I think it was twenty twenty. I, mm. I, oh, Marvel launched What If on the Disney Channel. Oh, whoa! Which turned out to be Marvel's oh, multiverse and not a What If at all oh. because I didn't like it at all. Well, it wasn't the, very What Ify. It was the Doctor Strange episode was. It was. It, good. That was more of a What If, but even still, it was. I like, think, the, but that had to be the best one from the ones I've seen. It was. Yeah, it was much more of a. It was oh, yeah. much more of a Marvel's multiverse show. Yeah. Yeah. Captain Carter getting her own comic. Yeah. Captain Carter's getting what? Her own comic. Bad. Oh. Okay. That, and I love her, but that episode was bad. Yeah. She had her own comic. It was, that was like bad fan fiction. Yeah. 
All right, is that it? She's suddenly Superwoman. <laughs> You're just like, I'm done. Yeah. Like, Hedgy Tony's done. All right, uh, listen. What, we, before we hit on something you were truly hated or what? Wait, wait, <laughs> what? From last year. Something I hated Anything from else? Well, I, Eternals... Kind of well. I was just bored when I watched wow, Eternals. So like, really on this hate can't campaign, let go of this hate campaign for Eternals. Right. <laughs> like, I like the twist, but like, it's oh, a twist. It's oh, a twist. But oh my god, like, ah, oh. Eternals. It just hit now, me the wrong way. Now you know how I felt about Godzilla 1985. Just like, oh, come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's get on with it. Actually, admittedly, I fell asleep watching that. Oh my god. <laughs> I just, it's movie so boring to me. <laughs> All right, listen, uh, anyway, <laughs> yeah. So twenty twenty one was, a I year. mean, basically a continuation of twenty twenty. <laughs> yes. Not as bad as twenty twenty, but uh, got still theaters. not great. We got yeah. the movie theaters. Again. We still have movie. We're still theaters, having so supply chain problems, all for all sorts of things. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but we're still uh, wearing masks in Nevada, although apparently masks, not yes. in a lot of other states. Still having a lot of problems with vaccinations and yeah. whatnot. Yeah. Yes. Like I said, it's 2020, 2021 has been big politically as opposed to anything else. It seems like the, the, the thing that's sort of dominating a lot of news is politics. I mean, yeah. let's just be honest. That's, that's a lot of what it is. Yeah. Um, okay. But you know, uh, we're going into twenty. We're in twenty twenty two, right? We're brand new in twenty twenty two. So, right. um, before we go, um, do we have any sort of, I don't know, intentions or well wishes for twenty twenty two? Uh, not so much having to do with pop culture, but just you know, I mean, personally, maybe. Not much. Like, uh, that not guy much. can't really change people. I mean, so. yeah, I mean, I would love for there to be more empathy in the world. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> um, so send it out. Say it to tell people, hey, I let's do yeah, it. Let's, guys, it's 2022. Let's More empathy. I know it's not the easiest Less thing, greed. but maybe we can try to be a lot nicer yeah. to each other, yeah. regardless of where we stand. We're all getting crapped on. By larger forces together, so we should yeah. at least we if we least band, band together, together yeah, we'll yeah. be an even larger force. Yeah. Imagine that. I want yeah. superpowers to be real. But <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> well, here's what I here's uh, what I recommend uh, that you do, Tony. Here's what I recommend. Bathe and radioactive. I was just gonna, I was just gonna say. <laughs> you tell me what kind of power you want. What what powers do you want? I'll tell you how to do it. Okay. Uh, that's. I want invincible powers. I guess. Okay, you want. Invincible powers. Yeah, I want just super strength and flying, and yeah. All right, here's what you do. Here's what you do. You jump into a vat of radioactive waste with a bird and a weight, <laughs> like a like a dumbbell. <laughs> like a dumbbell. Yeah, yeah. You just you bathe in it for a little bit, and you're you're gonna get out, and you're not gonna have cancer. You're gonna be big and strong and be able to fly just like a bird. Oh, kind of like no. kind of like Adam West in that one old family episode. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Adam, <laughs> Adam West just jumped in a pool radi- radioactive weights. So like, why the hell did you do that? Yeah, because he wanted to get superpowers. superpowers. <laughs> right. Um, All right. So yes, guys, 2022. Let's let's try to make the best of it, huh? Right. Let's let's just try to have more empathy, be be less a greedy. lot nicer to each other, a lot less greedy, and. Hopefully we can all make it through this year together. Right. Yay. Um, hopefully this will be wow. a year where wow. <laughs> youth, so youth. Pessi- pessimistic youth. Uh, no, I mean I'm right there with him sometimes. Yeah. But um, you know, hopefully we can try to make this year a little bit better than the last two. Because if I have to do 2020 all over again, someone's gonna die. I'm gonna spend that year in jail. Oh God! Yeah. Let's, let's, so, okay. Um, all right. All right. Let's end it. So here's hoping that you guys have <laughs> a good start to 2022. Yeah. Uh, here's hoping that we get to see more of you guys, and that hopefully you want to see more of us, whether it's yep. loving us or hating us or anything in between. Um, so let's have a good 2022. Yep. And we'll yep. see you guys next time. Yay. Good night. Night.